Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you guys how we TIG weld our titanium frame and chassis tubing. So this is grade five titanium, an alloy called 6AL4V. This is the material we use for all our titanium frames that we've built, racing frames, motorcycle frames, and everything else. In this video, we're gonna go over why titanium is good to use in certain frame applications. We're gonna go over how to prep the material, cope it, so it all fits together nice. We're gonna go over all the welding settings, filler rod, all of that stuff. And then we're gonna go over actual welding techniques when you're welding the material. So first, why use titanium for a chassis? Of course, we know chassis are made out of all different materials. You've got aluminum frames, chromoly frames, titanium frames, which you don't see as much, mostly in bicycling and other special applications. So just in layman's terms, titanium in general is about 50% lighter than the same part in steel and about 50% more malleable. What is malleable? It's flexible. So what does that mean in certain applications, frame applications, racing applications? If you want a chassis that's super light, titanium would be a great way to go. But also if you want it flexible, if you want it to move a little bit more than a steel chassis. Also, another bonus to titanium is it's a non-ferrous metal, non-corrosive, which means it doesn't rust. So you can run titanium raw, you can inspect your welds and look at the frame, and you don't have to put any coating on it. So now we're gonna cope the tubing. We're just gonna do 90 degree copes, just very simple for the sake of this video. Obviously, when you're building frames or chassis, you can do all different angles. We're gonna use a Bridgeport mill as our coping tool, a one inch end mill because this is one inch material. And we're gonna chuck up this tube in the vise and we're gonna slowly run it into the end mill to, to get it coped. There's better machining oil out there than this. I'm prepping our test pieces here. We'll chat a little bit about the machine we're gonna use. I use a Miller Dynasty 225. I think that um, there's many good TIG welders out there. I've had Lincoln equipment before and that was just fine as well. Um, but today I prefer uh, Miller products for TIG welding. So let's take a look at our weld settings here for the titanium tubing. Of course, we want our machine polarity on DC. This is a DC material. We want our pre-flow around 1.2 seconds because you want argon flowing through the nozzle before you actually strike the arc. We're gonna want our post-flow around 10 to 12 seconds. That is the gas that flows out after you lift the pedal. And you wanna do that to shield that molten weld uh, from outside contaminants so it can fully cure and fully cool down and stay clean and strong and also give you that beautiful straw color, that gold color. We're going to run our amps around 75. We might have to adjust a little bit, but this is an eighth inch wall tubing and that'll be a good starting point. So for our torch setup, we're going to want to use a large shielding lens. That's very important for titanium as it requires maximum coverage. You want very good welding coverage with titanium to keep it shielded and clean and free of contaminants. So for this application, we're gonna use a 28 millimeter shielding cup. I call it the lampshade. And then we're gonna use a 16th inch 
2% seriated tungsten. As for our gas, around 35 CFH. So anytime you're welding something, just make sure that your products or your parts are prepped properly. In this case, I just like to use acetone and Scotch-Brite. It's not rocket science, but it just ensures that my material is super clean and uh, I'm gonna get a good strong weld. For this eighth inch wall material, which is rather thick, um, we're gonna be using 060 grade five filler rod. I usually don't go too much thicker than this. You'll never see me use eighth inch or anything like that. Uh, but for eighth inch wall tubing, I'll use 060. And again, this is grade five filler rod and uh, it's 6AL4V, the alloy. All right, let's go ahead and get our pieces tacked up here. I usually do on tubing two to four tacks per seam. We're about half welded. I actually switched to a little smaller uh, welding cup. The Monster 16 works good too. Something was acting a little funky with the big one. Uh, sometimes there's just a little voodoo in the welding world. So um, that big white 28 millimeter cup that I showed you, um, it's kind of hit or miss sometimes. And I, I, to this day, I can't tell you why. Even when I'm welding at titanium exhaust and stuff, it'll work super, super, super good. And then something gets a little hairy. So um, yeah, that's why I switched to this. So when we're welding, we're gonna wanna roll that torch with the material the best we can. You get better and better at it over time. I'll probably do about uh, 10, 12, 15 dips and then stop and let the post flow uh, flow out. And here's our finished welds. As you can see with the post flow we used, we have a nice clean straw silver color. Very clean, very strong, beautiful weld. Thank you so much for watching.